Aisha. I'm Noor. This is Zaytuna. Hi, say hi, Zaytuna. Okay, so today, <laughs> get over here. Today we are going to be making an origami video. So we're just going to show you guys a few different origamis that you can make and the supplies that you need for this is paper. This can be any type of paper. It can be newspaper, old school papers, anything. And if you have scissors, bring them. If not, we'll show you a way that you can do this without scissors. And finally, a writing utensil. So like a pencil, a marker, anything you can write with. So the first thing we're going to do is I should do you want to read off what we're doing today? Yeah. So first we're going to show you how to cut the paper because another origami needs like square and not rectangle sheets. And then we're going to show you how to make a dog, a cat, a fortune teller, a bow, a heart, an air paper air airplane, and then a crane. So we're just going to start off by showing you all how to cut like a, the right shape. So for some of these, you are going to need a square piece of paper. And as you can see, most paper is rectangle. So what we're going to do is the first thing is just fold it in half hamburger style. So I'm just going to fold it in half. I want to make sure this lines up because I want it to be as precise as possible. And then I'm going to crease it. This is the first step. The next step is you're going to take one end and bring it all the way down. So now, as you can see, we have like this triangle right here. This is a part of where if you have scissors, it'll be helpful because you can just cut right along here. If not, take this side and fold it and crease it. The more times you crease it, the easier it will be to rip it. So I'm gonna just go and maybe crease it three more times. And I'm also using like the back of my nail to help me crease it. So it's gonna do this a few more times. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and rip this paper. And I'll bring it here so you guys can see too. You're just like ripping it going down. And because I crease it so many times, it's really easy for me to just rip this. And now I'm going to open this. And as you can see, this is a rectangle. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to find the one side that's folded and we're going to do the same thing where we crease it. And this is going to give us two square pieces of paper. So this process is a little long, but you will get more than one square paper. All right, and I'm just going to go through where I creased it right in the middle. I'm just going to rip it in half now. And there you go. So what is the first thing we're making, Aisha? Cat. OK, so for the cat, take one of the square pieces of paper and lay it in front of you. You're going to fold it in half like this. The next step is very easy too. You're just going to take one corner and fold it over. And you're going to crease it. OK, then you're actually going to go back and open it. So now, as you can see, we have this crease right in the middle. Let me bring this closer for y'all. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these ends and I'm going to fold it. Let me do this like closer up so you guys can all see too. I'm going to fold it like this. So I'm not touching the middle. As you can see, I'm leaving some space and this part is hanging out. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side as well. So I'll do this one down on the table. I'm going to take the side and I'm not going to fold it in the middle, but pretty close. I'm going to leave some space. So it should look like this. Okay. The next step is I'm going to take this part right here and I'm just going to fold it. So now as you can see, it's flat. Now I'm going to flip it over. And I have the face of a cat. The next part is where you want to grab your writing utensil and you're going to draw a face for your cat. I'm going to try to make mine look like Zaytuna. So I'm just going to draw her eye, give her a few eyelashes for her other eye. <laughs> By no means is that. <laughs> This is a fun activity, okay? It's okay if it looks a little different, a little wacky. We like that, okay? And we're gonna draw her nose. <laughs> and then her whiskers. 
Okay. And maybe you want to even draw like the inside of her ear and color it in. Go for it. There you go. <laughs> you have your cat. And you can, this is like a cute, if you want to keep this for yourself, that's fine. It's also something that you can give to someone else. You can write a little message to them. Maybe like, I love you or Santina. thank you for your help. So we'll give this one to our cat. She'll really appreciate it. So you can write like a little message. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, or you can put this on the fridge, you know, anything you want to do. It could be a bookmark. Yeah. Anything. So we're going to go on to our next one. Aisha's going to show y'all how to make a dog. So this one is also one of the easier ones to make. So um, remember how in the first part, Noor showed you how to make um, this sheet of paper and you had two, so you want to take your other one now, okay, and you want to fold it in half. All right, and you want to keep it folded like that. And then you're going to fold it in half again, the long way like this. You want to try to make sure that edges line up as much as possible, so it's not to be perfect. Um, and then you want to make sure that that's creased and you want to open it up. So now it just folded once like this. Next, we're going to take the edge and we're going to fold it inside, but we're not, we're not folding it to the middle of the line. We're just folding it a little bit inside like that a little triangle and then we want to try and make the same shape on this side right so we just want to fold it inside just a little bit and then so it looks kind of like this and then we have a little triangle on the bottom so we are going to take that triangle and just fold it up and we don't want to fold it up all the way we just want to fold it up just a tiny bit I'll try to bring it close so you can see so this is the face of a dog. It's difficult to see because we haven't drawn his eyes and his nose yet. So basically the same thing with the cat. I have a blue marker. You can use anything you want. Um, and we're going to start off by drawing his nose. So I'm going to draw his nose right on the tip of this little triangle that we have. I'm just going to give him like a little circle nose, you know. And then I'm going to do his eyes. Like that. And if you want to do more, you could even like color in his ears a little bit. Um, you can decorate this any way you want. You can even use like more than one color. I just have like this blue marker, so that's why I'm using it for both his face and his ears. And then there you go. That's a dog origami. Woof, woof. Okay, so now the next thing is Nora is going to show you how to make a fortune teller. Yeah, and some of these do get a little complicated as we go on, but we're going to take this step by step. And you can go ahead and go back on the video too if you need, like, if you missed a step or you need more explaining to yeah, do. Yeah, or if you need to make more paper. Yeah. All right, so for this one, you do need a square piece of paper. So take out a square piece of paper, or if you need, pause this video and make one right now. So the way to make a fortune teller is... We already have one crease going diagonal, which is perfect. We are now going to make another diagonal line or a crease. So I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna go across and make another. Now, as you can see, we have like four sections, like one, two, three, four. The next step, what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these ends and I'm going to take it so the point touches exactly in the middle. And I'm going to fold it so it looks like this. See, it's exactly in the middle. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Bring it as close to the middle as I can and make a crease. And I'm going to do that with every corner. So we have four triangles. We have three now, we just need one more. Now we have four. This is how this looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. So we're going to flip it to the side that looks like this. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take one corner and fold it so it touches the middle. And then I'm going to create a crease. I'm going to do that for every single corner. So in total we will have four. And again, if you need to pause this or go back, go ahead. And now this looks like this. 
So now we're like pretty much done with the folding and now all we have to do is make it into a fortune teller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this inside. So the part that has the squares are going to show. Then I'm going to take my thumb, my pointer finger, and like tuck them in the little squares and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna kind of like go like this so we have this. That's how you make a fortune teller. And there's like a lot of different things you can do with a fortune teller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flatten it again so I can show you guys different things you can write inside. So I think one of the most basic ways you can use a fortune teller is by like, if you have different colored markers or even a pencil, you can write red, orange, blue, purple. So these are like the colors on the outside. Then I'm just gonna open it up and I'm just gonna go ahead and number these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the fun part. So now what you can do is you can lift from these flaps and you can either write a fortune, like you can write you are going to win $1 million or you can write true and false randomly in the boxes and have people ask you like a true and false question. I'm just going to do, do the true and, for, uh, true and false one just because of time. So I'm just going to write T for true and F for false randomly. There's no pattern to this. And once I'm done writing true and false, I'm just going to tuck these back like they were before. I'm going to close it again. And then I'm going to test someone or let someone have a fortune told with this. Aisha, would you like to have your fortune told? Yeah, sure. All right, so pick a color. Um, I pick blue. So blue. B L U E. Pick a number. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick a different one. 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 Now pick another number. Eight. And ask a question. Um, that can have a true and false answer. Is Zaytuna sleeping right now? Zaytuna is sleeping right now. False. Her fortune is false. All right, so that's how you make the fortune teller. And again, you can write different things inside of here. It doesn't have true and false. You can write, you will win a million dollars or you will have a very lucky day today. Things like that. So you can make many of these. These can be also used as bookmarks. There's so many purposes. All right, Aisha, I'm going to pass it on to you. Okay, so what we're gonna make next is a boat. For this one, you want a rectangle sheet of paper. Um, again, you don't have to use this kind of paper. It can be any one. You just wanna make sure that it's rectangle shaped like this. Um, okay, so the first thing you wanna do, you wanna fold it in half, um, this. I think this is hamburger style, right? So like that. And you wanna to try to make sure that the edges line up as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is the side that's open. You want that facing away from you. The side that's closed, we're gonna make two triangles. So you wanna take both the edges and bring it together to the middle. And then when they both line up in the middle, you want to fold them down. And so I'll bring this closer so you can see. So you can see that both the triangles are matched up, right? Um, you want to try to make this pointed, closed if you can, but if not, it's fine. And we want this space on the bottom to be kind of open like that. So what we're going to do now is this is the open side. It has two sheets. We want to take one and just fold it up like this and then flatten it. Then we want to flip it and do the same thing. We want to take this open end and flip it like this. Then we want to flip it again so we are on the side that has a two, two triangles. And then for these little edges, we want to fold them in. So we'll fold this one right here. We'll fold this triangle in like that. And then we'll fold this triangle like that. Same thing on this side. This triangle, we will fold it inside and we'll fold this one on the outside. So um, for some of you, you can stop at this step. This is like, kind of like a bow. It's a, like a flat bow origami. Um, for those of you who want to do like a more 3D version, we'll go to the next step. This is a little bit complicated, um, so it might be difficult to get on the first try, 
but basically what you want to do is kind of fold it inside so open it up and kind of fold it and then you want to crease it right but then you're going to unfold it and then this is the inside you want to take these edges and you want to push them inside and you want to go all around and just like gently sometimes it will tear a little bit you just kind of want to go and like push it in right and then where it's kind of creased you can just adjust it um this is like a difficult step so it might take you a few tries to get it right which is fine you can always um Try it again with a different sheet if it rips or something. But if you can get it like this, then it kind of becomes like more 3D. It can sit on its own, right? So um, some people like to wear it as a hat. Some people like to put it in the water to see how long it lasts. Um, you can put tape on the bottom to make it like waterproof if you want to put it in the water. Um, you can decorate it if you have markers or other things you can glue onto it. Um, so yeah, that is how you make a boat. So the next thing we're going to do is a heart origami. It's going to look like this. And you will, you will need one of these. So if you ran out, um, make some more. But otherwise, this is the sheet that you want. Um, so fold it like this. And then you want it this time when you fold it, you want to open it up again. All right. And then now you have this line in the middle, this crease. So you want to take one of the edges and fold this edge all the way to the crease in the middle so that it touches that edge. All right. So there's that one. Now for this side, you want to take it in and you want to fold it. But this time, you're not going to fold it like this. This point needs to go all the way to this um, bottom of the small triangle. So this triangle goes all the way to the middle. This triangle goes all the way to the end. Okay, I'm going to fold mine. So then what we're going to do is you want to have this be, so on the big triangle, okay, on the bottom of the large triangle, you want to take this side and you want to fold it like this. So that when you fold it, right, so this is the big triangle and this is the bottom of the big triangle, you want to fold it in like that so that this, this triangle sticks out like this. And then you'll do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, and then if we turn it, it's starting to look a little bit like a heart shape. And then we have these two points. We want to take these tiny points and just make little tiny triangles so that it's not so pointy. It's a little bit smoother. And there you go. Okay, this is also something that um, you could decorate if you wanted to give it a face. Um, if you wanted to write like a note on the back for someone, right, you can do all of those things. So whatever you want, you could even just color it in like one solid color and that would be, that would be really good as well. So. Final one. Okay, and for the next one, I'm going to show you how to do a plane. So again, for this one, you don't need that special sheet that we made. You can just use like a regular sheet. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to make an airplane. We'll, I'll just show you one of the ways that I like to do it. Um, so you can fold it, fold it like this. We'll fold it the long way. I think that the this way makes the plane go like really fast, in my opinion. So with a plane, if you want it to go really fast, you want to make sure that you fold it like really precise. What does precise mean? It means like exact. So you want it, that means like you want the lines when you fold it, you want them to match up as much as possible. Okay, so 
Now this is the side that is kind of open. So that side, we want to either side doesn't matter which one. You want to take it and you want to fold it all the way to this bottom line and make like a triangle. And then you want to flip it and do the same thing on this side. So it kind of looks like this right now. Okay. Then you want to go back to the side where it has two sides and you want to fold it again. And you want to fold it so that this edge, when you're folding it, lines up with the bottom. It makes like a really straight line. And again, you want to try to make sure that it lines up as much as possible because um, you want this to be like really pointy so that it can um, actually fly. So then you want to flip it to the opposite side and do the same thing. Take this, this edge that we have, this triangle edge, and we want to fold it so it lines up with the bottom. Okay, so now it looks like this. And now we're going to do that one last time. We'll take this edge and fold it so that it lines up with the bottom. Then we want to flip it and we want to do the same exact thing. Okay. So now you have, it should look something like this. And then if you want to fly it, you just want to kind of open up the sides, right? So, so that, but you want to keep these in the, this fold in the middle so that you have something to hold on to. And then that's basically um, how you make a plane. Okay. And so the last thing that we will show you how to do is how to make a crane, which is a type of bird. Um, this one, you will need that special sheet that we made in the beginning. Um, this one is a little bit more complicated. So um, just try to follow it along to the best of your abilities. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to fold it in half like this. And then you want to fold it again. And you want to unfold it. So remember, we folded it like a triangle. We folded it like a triangle. And then unfold it. And you want to flip it upside down. And then you want to fold it the long way so that it's like a rectangle way. Crease it, unfold it, fold it like that again, crease it. And so this is the part where you basically kind of take two edges now because we have a lot of creases. So the creases should make the sheet kind of like, if you take these two edges, kind of like squash it together. Actually, let's do that one more time. So we fold it like that, like that. And then we flip it and then we fold it the long way and then we fold it the long way. And then we fold it the long way and we take these two edges and kind of just push it together like this and then squash it down like this. So this stuff's a little complicated. Um, like I said, this is a more complicated design. So I wouldn't worry too much about not getting it the first time if you haven't tried it before. Um, so now you have this part that's like kind of open and this part that is closed. So with the open part, what you want to do is take this part right here and make like a really skinny triangle like that. Same thing on this side. So it should look like this. And then you want to flip it and do the same thing. It should look like that. Now with this triangle on top, you want to fold it in. It doesn't matter which side because you're going to do this on both sides and then you want to unfold it and now you want to unfold these two triangles and then we're going to do something similar to what we just did where you kind of open it up and then like squash it down so you want to open it up and then push the edges in so it makes two really long triangles and now we'll do the same thing on this side we have this little triangle you want to fold it in half then we want to unfold it then we have these two that we want to open up open this all the way up and then we push down on the edges like this now we have the 
this diamond shape on both sides. So now we're gonna take this bottom part. So this is a this is a part that has a triangle. We're not gonna fold this one that is underneath the triangle. We'll fold these two that are kind of split up like this. So we'll take this side and just fold it in to the middle of the line like that. So we take that and fold it into the middle of the line. You wanna do the same thing. Fold it in the middle of the line, and then you want to flip it. Same thing. Fold it into the middle of the line. So like that. Fold it into the middle of the line. Okay, so now you have these two really skinny um, triangles on the bottom. So then you want to open it up. So now you have this bigger triangle, and you want to now you have like this diamond shape. You want to take the bottom of the diamond and fold it all the way up as much as you can and then you want to close it but then you want to pull this out a little bit and then once you have it at like kind of like an angle it doesn't matter you could have it really low or like that you want to um crease it right here so that it stays in the shape that you put it in and the other side same thing we'll open it up we have like this diamond shape you want to fold it all the way in and then we turn it, we want to close it, and then we want to do the same thing with this one. Once we have it at the angle that we want, we'll crease it. And now we have two sides. You have you get to decide like which one do you want to be the tail and which one do you want to be the head. I'll choose this for my head. So I'll just squish it down and push like push that small diamond part in and crease it so that it stays. There's the head and this is the tail. And now you have these two, which will be the wings. You want to take them. And just like really gently pull on them so that this um, middle part opens up and they kind of stay in place and then that's how you make a crane okay so we showed you how to make a few um, origami things we hope you have some like cool um, dogs and cats and maybe you were even able to make like the crane which that would be awesome um, or maybe you made like a really cool plane. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining us in this video and um, we'll see you next week with a new activity. All right, bye guys.